Hello everybody and welcome to another live English class. I'm Christian and this is Kangaroo English. So before I start this class today, um, I want to talk about a couple of things, okay? So the first thing is that I don't know if you are in the Facebook group, okay, I don't know, but there is a revolution happening right now in the Facebook group, okay, in the Kangaroo English Facebook group. It's totally free, it's open to anybody in the world, and what's happening is that people are sharing their stories, they're expressing themselves, they are... Um, they are part of a revolution in the way that you learn languages. So please, if you're not in the Facebook group, go there and look at what's happening because that is the future of language learning. Okay, that's the first thing. <laughs> and the second thing, the second thing is that, um, is that uh, I just want to say thank you very much to all of my patrons, to all of the people who, who support me on Patreon because, because of them, I'm able to spend more time working for you guys, basically. It's that simple. And as, as I get more and more patrons, I can spend more and more time um, doing, doing work for, for the greater good. So that's my, that's my, so I just wanted to say thanks. And um, if you want to become my patron, check out the links below, or you can buy some, you can buy some stylish kangaroo English merchandise. Okay, that's it. That's it. I'm done. Um, how are you all? A lot of people here today. We have Sanket, Eileen, Mark Morgan, Artempal, Antonio Bonanno, Rowan Godinho, Reginaldo is here, Marina from Argentina, Sadiq, Ricardo, Andre, Donas, Latifa, Victor Caesar, Sharaf, uh, Natalia's here, Gosha's here, Mehmet's here, Carmen, um, Francesco, Rogelio, no, Rogelia, sorry, Julio, Emre, Lenny's here, um, Grit, Sergio de Carvalho Alkim, Alkimimim. Pff, what a name. It's a big name. Um, uh, I'm sorry if I, I... I can't read Arabic script or the Cyrillic alphabet, so I can't say your names. I'm sorry. Um, but yes, it, it's great to have you all here. Um, so today I'm going to do two things. Today I'm going to... We're going to play a game... We're going to play a game and then I'm going to answer some of your questions, if you have questions. Okay, so uh, first let's play a game, okay? We're going to play a game called Linky. Linky! So basically I am going to ask you four questions, okay? And the answer, the answers to these four questions are linked. They have, they have some, there's some way in which the four answers are linked together. So first you have to answer the questions and then discover the link, the connection. Okay, it's a good game. I like it. Okay, so um, let's... Let's, let's start. Let's start with the first question. Okay. Question number one. Let's see how good you are because these are not easy questions. They're difficult questions. Okay. First question. The giant redwood is what type of thing? Basically, what is a giant redwood? Hmm. Hmm. A giant redwood. What could it be? Who knows? Maybe a little clue in the name? <laughs> no, it's not a monster. Yes, Dominic. 
Yes, Michael. It is a type of tree. A giant redwood, and it's called giant because it's really big. <laughs> and it's called redwood because the wood from the tree is red. I'm, I'm a genius at explaining things. <laughs> giant redwood. Okay. Okay, stop. Okay. Okay, next question. Next question. From what... Material are frisbees made. Mm. Do you know what a frisbee is? A frisbee? You know, like a circular disc and you throw the... Great game. I love it. What material are frisbees? Uh, plastic. Very good. That was easy. Nun Nun, Prince Marth, Recop 12, Gritkosh, Simona, Gosha Pedro... Tanvir, well, um, okay, Pedro was very, Pedro was very technical. He said polymer. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> but yes, of course, it's, Sanket says carbon fiber. Sanket, please. Are, <laughs> are you a rich man? You have a carbon fiber frisbee? Well, uh, you have a carbon fiber frisbee in your Ferrari? Come on, man. <laughs> Okay, plastic, plastic, okay. Hello, Georgia, nice to have you in class again. <laughs> okay, next question. On which organ of the human body would you use an electrocardiogram? Which human organ do you use an electrocardiogram? Wow. Nan, Nan, Natalia, Georgia, Dominic, Rich, Prince Math, Sharath, Claudio, Juan Pablo. Everyone has this correct. Gosh, everyone. Everyone. <laughs> exactly. The heart. Okay, final question. Final question. Um, and this is this this happened in Spain. And maybe it's it's continuing to happen now. Maybe this is happening in your country, okay? So, if, if a lot of intelligent people leave the country, it is called something drain. Hmm. Something drain. If all of the intelligent people leave your country. Wow, Dominic... Dominic was the first. Very nice, Dominic. Himu, um, Rikop, 12, Sanket, Jashek, Judith, Setin, um, Michael. That's correct. It is called brain drain. So drain is like when, um, okay, when, when, imagine if you have your, your bath. Your bath is full of water and you take out the plug and all of the water spins and disappears. This is called to drain. It's a verb. You drain the water. And so what's happening is all of the intelligent people, yes, Marina, fuga de cerebros, yes, the, 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 um, the brains are leaving the country, brain drain. Now, now comes the difficult part. Who in this class is super intelligent? What is the link between these four words? What's the link between tree, plastic, heart, and brain? Hmm. I mean this, yeah, okay. Organs, but these, it, what is it? What's the link? Who knows? Does anybody know? Hmm. Ecology? No, it's not ecology. No, it's not that they're nouns. It's not that they're natural things. It's not that they have minds. No, it's not that they're on the planet or that they're made of carbon. 
Uh, not that they all come from Earth. Oh, Georgia! Georgia! Very good, Georgia. Very good. It is. Surgeon. You have a tree surgeon, a plastic surgeon, a heart surgeon, and a brain surgeon. A surgeon is a, a person, like a doctor, who performs surgery. So, <laughs> yes, we have a tree doctor. Is a specialist who looks after trees. Now, I know that maybe for some of you this is a very strange concept. But, the, <laughs> in some countries, a tree surgeon is a very specialist and very well-paid job. And sometimes they give trees injections. I'm not, I'm not joking. They have the tree and they're like with a big, with a syringe. It's crazy. Plastic, plastic surgeon to make you beautiful. Heart surgeon and, and brain surgeon. Okay, let's do another one because I love this. I love this game. Okay. Uh, 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 okay, let's see which, um, uh, ooh, 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 I like this one. It's another one related to, uh, surgeon, uh, cirujano, cirujano de árboles. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, first question. What is the common word, the common word for, for this? For your backbone. What's the common word for your backbone? Who knows what this is called? Uh, not your back. Uh, Mohammed. Very good, Mohammed. And Recop12, Mark Morgan, Eileen, and Patricia. Very good. It is your, your spine. And... In English, your spine indicates that you are a, a strong person, you know? So, if somebody is being a coward or a chicken, you say, ha ha, you have no spine, you're a big baby. Yeah. Or the opposite, you could say, wow, that guy has a lot of spine, a lot of backbone. Okay, next question, next question for my very my very intelligent students. Which organ, which organ in the human body can you remove with no ill effects? Which, which organ in the human body can you take out, can you take out with no serious effects? Who knows? Very nice, Pedro, and Mohammed, no, J Jashik, no, okay, yes, J uh, Pavel, uh, <laughs> no, Patricia, it's not your heart, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so lots of people, <laughs> yes, it is your appendix. Your appendix is the most the most common organ to take out with no no serious effects, because it's an appendix. It's extra. That's what this word means. It's extra. Okay. This is another. <laughs> oh, Patricia, don't say that. <laughs> okay. Um, or maybe yes, your gallbladder. Your gallbladder. It's true. Um, okay, and next question, question number three. Okay, so this is your, um, this is thumb, little finger, ring finger, and your middle finger. What is the common name for this, this one here, this finger? Yeah, Lenny, I suppose it is like a bonus. Very good, Nun Nun, and Jashex, and Natalia, and Simone, and Gosh, uh, Gosha. Oh, yes, 
your pointing finger. True, true, but it's also called the index finger. The index finger. Okay. Now, final question, question number four. Um, what is the name of the person who holds, who holds the bride's train at a wedding? Okay, now I know there's some vocabulary there which is difficult, okay? So, first thing is wedding. So, wedding is when you get married, right? Okay, you get married. It's a wedding. And at the wedding, you have the bride, who is the girl, and the groom, who is the man. Although now, you know, you have men and men and women and women, you know. So, in a traditional wedding, the bride is the woman and the groom is the man. Now, brides, sometimes, they have a dress. They have a dress with a very long... A very long piece of material. A very long piece of Like, the material is 10 meters. Okay? Like, at the back. We call this the train. Like a train. The same. A train. It's a train of material. Now, what is the name of the person who holds the train? They have a special name. Does anybody know? It's not easy. <laughs> Seton, I love your answer. It's the bride train holder. <laughs> you, you will go far, my friend. You will go very far in life with that answer. It's a great, a great answer. <laughs> um, okay, it's very strange, but that person is called the page. A page. In Italian, they're called the damigella. <laughs> Ten be very nice. So, I think it's quite, maybe quite easy to see the link. What is the link? Natalia Cordova, you're number one. Very good. Of course, it is a book. The book. So, um... Here we have a book, okay, this is a really good book, Princess Pink, and we have the spine, the spine of the book, and the appendix at the back, and the index at the front, and a page, of course, lots of pages. Very good. Um, do, do you like this game? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. I'm super, super pumped about this game. Okay. Okay, um, uh, I'm trying to find one that, uh, okay, okay, this is more, di this is maybe, maybe a little bit more difficult, okay? <laughs> okay, first question. What do you call, what do you call a compilation of songs, so a compilation of music that you make for a friend. Hmm. I remember when I was younger, I used to um, record the music from, from the radio onto a cassette and make, and make this thing for my friends. Okay, we have a correct answer here from, from Just Human. The correct answer is it's called a mixtape. Because, um, because uh, it was on a, on a cassette, right? It was on physical tape. You remember tape. I remember tape. <laughs> um, uh, and it's different, it's different from a playlist. Because a playlist is like not a physical thing, right? A playlist is a concept. It's like, this is my playlist for tonight. But the mixtape is the, is the thing. This is my mixtape. Yeah. So, the word, the word is mix. Okay, mix. No, sorry. The word is tape. 
Okay. Question number two. What is the name of a type of cement, a type of cement used by children to make sculptures? The name of a type of cement used by children to make sculptures. It's called something, something of Paris. Something of Paris. I know it's a strange name, but that's what it's called. Okay? So, it's not clay, because in general, clay, you need to put the clay in the oven at a very high temperature to make the clay hard. But this, no. And Dominic, Dominic, we have the correct answer. Very good. And also, Sanket came in there with the correct answer. Jashik as well. I think Jashik was the first. It is called Plaster of Paris. Incidentally, plaster, okay, if you, if you break your arm, then you have plaster, okay? Plaster. This, this, this could be, you know, lots of funny films, you know, where I, I, turn, I turn to talk to somebody and I punch them in the face. <gasps> ah! <laughs> the plaster of Paris. And um, also, plaster is, is on, on the walls. Yeah, plaster. Um, uh, to, make, to make your walls smooth and beautiful. Now, plaster is different from a bandage because a bandage is soft. Okay, bandages maybe if you if you sprain your ankle, if you if you twist your ankle, it's not broken, it's twisted. You put a bandage. But plaster is hard. Uh, also, you can call it a cast, a plaster cast. Uh, Lenny says that her bones know that very well. Obviously, Lenny has broken some bones before. Um, I hope nothing serious. Um, okay, you get it. Okay, question number three. Question number three. This is for the people in the class who enjoy cooking. It's a cooking question. So, what do you get when you heat sugar to 170 degrees Celsius? So, if you take sugar and you, you boil the sugar, what do you get? Ah, uh, Seton, Adam, Fabrizio, Dennis, Marina, Mike, Recop 12. Uh, yes, lots of people have got this one. Exactly. It is car caramel. Caramel. Mm. I love caramel. But it's just sugar. It's so bad for you. God. Okay, final question, final question, final question. Now this is the name of a film, a classic film. Maybe you didn't see this film, I don't know. I hope so. This is the question. What is the title of the film? Something, I Shrunk the Kids. Do you remember the film, He's a Crazy Scientist? And he invents this big gun and he accidentally fires the gun and the children, the children shrink, the children shrink and they are lost. They're lost in the garden and they make friends with an ant. Oh man, I think, I think I cried when I, when I watched that film because do you remember the ant dies? <laughs> it was really sad. It was really sad. Oh my god. But yes, <laughs> but yes, you, you're correct. Um, very good. Rocking Crown and Adam. Um, and also uh, Gosha. Very good. Yes. And also, who else? Uh, Franius. Um, in English, the film was called Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. So this is the verb shrink. 
in kached, shrink. Honey. So, ladies and gentlemen, who knows what is the link between all of these words? Tape, plaster, caramel, and honey. What is one thing that they have in common? No, it's not bees. No, it's not candy. No, it's not cooking. No, it's not sugar. Cesar! Cesar has it. Very nice, Cesar. You're absolutely correct. Or Caesar? Or Cesar? I'm not sure. The answer is that they are all... They are all sticky. Sticky. Sticky tape, sticky plaster, sticky caramel and sticky honey. They're all sticky. <laughs> um, well done, well done guys, well done. Okay, I'm gonna do one more I'm, because I, I'm having a good time. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more and then, and then I'm, gonna, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna take some questions, okay? <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see if we can, um, uh, uh, no, I think, uh, ooh, ooh, okay, okay, I like this one. Here we go, here we go, are you ready? Question number one, question number one. What is the name of the American television channel which shows programs about science and technology and history? What's the name of the television channel about science and technology and history? Levan. Very good, Levan. Levan Surmandize and Jashik and Monica Miguez and Gosha and Artem and also, who else? Eileen, Juan Pablo. Very good, very good. It's Discovery. Very nice, very nice. Discovery Channel. Okay, question number two. Now, <laughs> I don't know if we have any Star Trek fans here. Do any of you like Star Trek? Well, listen to this question. Captain Kirk and Captain Picard, they both had spaceships with the same name. What was the name of the spaceship of Captain Picard and Captain Kirk? Hmm. Who knows? Again, Levin Sermon dies very fast. Lady Angel, Mike Saw, Rodrigo, Nun Nun, Franius, DeAnthony, <laughs> and Jose Nildo. Very good. It was the Enterprise. Enterprise! <laughs> yes, maybe Google is helping the people a lot. <laughs> uh, okay, third question. This is about history. Well, about the story, the story of um, a famous, um, a famous mythical story. Okay, so what is the name of the lost city? at the bottom of the ocean. Ooh. What is the name of the lost city at the bottom of the ocean? Bio and Senozis. You were the first, my friend. Very good. Um, Nun Nun, Fabrizio, uh, Michael, Rodrigo, Anvu, Lady Angel, Marina. Wow. Uh, very good. Very good. A lot of you got it correct. It is Atlantis. Atlantis. Okay, final question. Final question. What is the name of the Canadian province where Vancouver is located? So, what's the name of the province where 
where Vancouver is. No, it's not Quebec. It's not Alberta. Very good. Very good. Uh, who was first? It was, um, let's have a look. It was, um, I don't know. I'm sorry because your name is in Cyrillic. I don't know. Antonio was up there and Levan as well. Um, yes, the answer is Colombia. Colombia. So we have Discovery, Enterprise, Atlantis, and Colombia. Who knows what's the link between these four words? Who knows? Wow, Lady Angel, congratulations. You are the first. They are, of course, they are all names of space shuttles. Space This is a H. Space shuttles. So this is an interesting question because it's not a space ship, it's a space shuttle. Why? Because Shuttle means that you go to one place and you come back like this. You shuttle, okay? Shuttle. So if you go to an airport and there's a bus, there's a bus that goes round and round and round. It goes to Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. And it's a shuttle because it goes and comes back and goes and, or, or exactly to the hotels. You have a hotel shuttle, goes to the hotel, comes back, okay? And it's a space shuttle because it goes to the space station and comes back. It's not like a space rocket which goes up and then explodes and then you never use it again. Okay? A rocket is only for use once. Well, now we have Elon Musk and SpaceX and, you know, he is launching rockets and then they come down and land. It's... it's um. Incredible technology. Um, okay, okay. Um, well, <sighs> that was good fun. That was good fun. I, I, I really enjoyed that. Um, and in the future, I want to do more interactive uh, quizzes, but where you can actually choose the answers like this on your screen. This technology is available, and soon I'm going to, to share it with you. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, I, don't, I don't have very long. I have a little bit, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit of time. Um, <laughs> you guys want more, okay. I know, I love this game. It's a good game, right? Um, okay, so... Um, let me, let me, okay, we, I, I have one more, I have one more, I have one more. Um, what is the name of Australia's capital? Well, um, the capital of Brazil is Rio de Janeiro, and the capital of Australia is Sydney. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, okay, let's do another one, let's do another one. Uh, question number one, question number one, what is the name of the number that you need to take money from a cash point? Okay, so if you go to a cash point and you put in the number, what is the, the name of the number? Yes, very good guys, it is... Your PIN number. Very good. Um, <laughs> uh, yes. Um, now, now I am aware, now I know that the capital of Brazil is not Rio de Janeiro. It's, it's Brasilia. Uh, but a week ago, I didn't know that. Um, uh, Rio de Janeiro was the capital of Brazil until 1970, I think 1970 or 1971, I think. And then they moved the capital to, to Brasilia. Um, 
And the same thing happened in Australia. Um, Sydney was proposed as the capital. Melbourne, I think, was originally the capital. And then it was moved to the new city of Canberra. Um, similar situation. Uh, uh, yeah, so n n now I'm more informed about, about that. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, but yeah, how, how embarrassing. I'm, I'm Australian, and honestly, I'm not sure if the original capital of Australia was Melbourne or Sydney. Can, can somebody Google it and tell me, and tell me if, it was, if it was Melbourne or Sydney before Canberra? Because I don't, I don't know. <laughs> bad, bad, bad Australian. Bad Australian. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so Rickop12 says that it was Sydney. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. Um, there you go, everybody. It was Sydney. And then it was, and now it's Canberra. The most boring place on earth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, sorry. Yeah, so question number one, the answer was pin. Question number two, question number two. And this is difficult, this is difficult, okay? Um, what is the name of the wheel, okay, the wheel that you have in the back of your car for emergencies? Adam, what's up? Oh my god, Lady Angel. Very nice. Um, very good guys. I didn't um I didn't think that you would know this word. Because not a very common word. It's called spare. Very good. So spare means something extra, right? So I could say to you, um, do you have five dollars to spare? Five dollars extra for me. Um, do you have any spare batteries for my, for my, um, I don't know, for my remote control, for example? It's like extra. It's like something extra that you don't need. You're not using. Spare. Okay. Question number three. What do you call it? What is the name when workers refuse to go to work. Mm. Mm. When the workers say, no, I'm not working. We're not working. What is it called? Wow, again, Lady Angel, she's very fast. She has fiber optic internet. Uh, also, Dominic, Sharath, Mohammed, Vladimir, Michael Gevlich, Natalia Cordoba, Sanket, Gosha, Patricia, uh, wow, a lot of people got this right. Really good. It's a strike. A strike. Very nice. Very nice. Very good. And finally, I think this is easy. In which country is Istanbul? In which country is Istanbul? Oh, okay. The first we had um, Dogan Kaya. Michael as well. No, sorry. Um, Mikhail, Michal. Levan, Cesar, Mohammed. Very good, guys. Of course, it's um, Turkey. Turkey. Uh, Setin is Turkish, so this is your question. Now, now this is a bit abstract, okay, a bit strange. What is the connection between pin, spare, strike, and turkey? Who knows? If you know, oh man, Lady Angel, seriously? Klaus Laban as well? Uh, Galisa, Chiara Odessa? <laughs> Gosh, no. Gosh, it's not kebabs. <laughs> Ernesto? Um, Georgia, uh, Adam, yes, yes, exactly. Um, it is a game. It's the game of bowling. So, 
So, there's two types of bowling, okay? There's bowling for English people. English bowling, which is very like, you know, and you, it's, it's very slow and delicate. Okay, you have the ball and you, you, you <laughs> roll the ball like this, like this, and the ball rolls in, yeah. This is, this is bowling. And then you have American bowling with the big ball and you put your fingers in the ball and you throw the ball and American bowling. So this is American bowling, okay? So the pin, the pin is the thing, the, um, the, the thing. The... Is that clear now? <laughs> is that, uh, is, now I know that it's really perfectly clear what a pin is. You know, the thing, the thing that you, you roll the ball and, and you, the, uh, um, a spare is, is when you, um, I think when you, when you, when, okay, so I think you have, you have two, two opportunities to roll the ball. And spare is when you um, knock all of the pins over on the second, on the second attempt. I think. Strike. Strike is when you, you knock down all of the pins on the first attempt. You throw it and strike. And a turkey, I think, I'm not sure because I, I don't go bowling, but I think a turkey is when you have one pin left. You knock down all of them and you have one pin. And it's like... I don't know, it's weird. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's Friday. Um, so, you know, it's weird today. That, that was a bit difficult. Um, <clears throat> okay, so um, before I go, let me, just, let me just give you a preview of the summer finally being here. Okay? Because it's, uh, what? It's the, it's the 3rd of May today, and... Finally, okay, you see that? Look at that up there. Okay, that's the sun. Where is it? Ah, oh, so bright. It's a beautiful day. And I can't wait to, well, <laughs> I, I wish that I could spend some time out in the sun, but unfortunately, I have a lot of classes today. So, um, so, yeah, no sun for me, just work. Um, with my trusty camera. Always creating stuff for you guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, today was an absolute pleasure. I had a great time. And I'll be back next week with more live classes and more content um, really soon. And please, listen, check out the videos on my Patreon. I'm uploading Word of the Day and other, other videos every day on Patreon. Every day. And it's free. Go, go and watch it. The link is down below. Okay, guys. Have a great weekend. Love to you all. And I'll see you in class. Bye. Bye. <laughs>